In parts of Manassas, you can plug your computer's modem into any electrical outlet and use the power lines to get online. It's called Broadband Over Power Lines, or BPL. And after a year of experimentation, both the city and the FCC are calling the program a success. But a group of ham radio operators is calling it a disaster. News Channel 8's Jeff Golomowski explains. For these men, ham radios aren't just a hobby, they're a way to serve their community. When every in communications infrastructure was down, ham radio was the only one that was up and running. We're prepared to do emergency communications regardless. A vital service when disaster strikes, even if it's a relatively old technology. Now the hams are up against the future in BPL. In a series of demonstrations for News Channel 8, the hams showed us what they say is interference from the power lines. Near Bob Zafel's Manassas house, the utility company has notched out or prevented the power lines from using the same frequencies as the hams, giving them a clear signal. They've effectively protected the amateur frequencies, but they're not protecting anything else right now. Once the hams stray from a set block of frequencies, they say there's too much interference to communicate. And they say it works both ways. When they're transmitting, the hams say the BPL connection for computers nearby slows down or even stops. Here at the Manassas Utilities Department, the utility director is actually a ham radio operator himself. He says he's aware BPL can cause problems for radio operators, but he says the city is well equipped to deal with them. The times that there have been an issue with the local amateur radio association here in Manassas, we've been able to go out and uh, eliminate that frequency from being used and eliminate their concern. As for concerns mobile radios could lock up internet connections, Todd says the city's tests haven't shown the same results as those from the hams. The hams hope Todd is right. In Manassas, Jeff Golomowski, News Channel 8. Well, the hams say they're concerned BPL's popularity will increase, and so will the interference. They have brought their complaints to Congress and to the FCC. The commissioners recently put several rules in place to protect frequency users from BPL, rules the city of Manassas says they are following to the letter. During this survey, this group of individuals pulled up and started snapping pictures of the BPL installation, then they turned the cameras on us. When asked uh, who they were or who they were representing, they refused to uh, give us that information. If anybody recognizes them or their cars, please drop me an email. Thank you.